Hey guys, so I'm really, really excited to show you how I've been using Kami in my remote teaching so far. And really what Kami is, it's an app um, or extension that you can use and it collaborates with Schoology and also uh, Google Classroom. I use Schoology in my classroom, but it just adds, allows you to create worksheets on there or download your already pre-made worksheets from your drive and make them interactive so the kids can pretty much use all these tools and I'll be being more specific as we go on into the video, but this is what it pretty much looks like. So they can add boxes in here, they can draw lines, they can even record themselves. Um, so they can kind of record themselves on there for great for language learner, which is I, which is what I teach, Spanish. So I really, really love this. So really, I'm going to show you what you first need to do. First, you need to make sure that you have this Kami extension. And to do that, you go to your Chrome Web Store. And Kami is spelled K-A-M-I. So you'll type Kami in your search bar. And then it'll give you an option here to add it. I already have it, so it won't give me that option. But this is what it'll look like. Once you add it, it will be on your toolbar. So great. That's pretty much what you need to do as a teacher and also for your students to be able to use this. And whatever MLS they use, Google Classroom or Schoology, they're going to need to do the same thing and download the extension. So they have this purple circle on there with the K in there. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my class in Schoology and I'm going to add a material, add an assignment as you normally would. And it's going to give you an option here to use with Kami. So you know, we're, we're going to use that one, but I'm just going to do um, greetings. And we'll have it do, I don't know, tomorrow, category. Um, and I think that's it for right now. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to click on Kami and once you load your extension, this will give you an option. So then Kami is going to pop up and then it's going to ask you, what do you want to use Kami with? So what assignments? Um, I have different ones on here, but I'm going to go ahead and use my greetings worksheet. Okay, so it pretty much just assigned it that worksheet on there. So then I will create create and it will have, there you go, the worksheet already done for me. So the students will see this and then for them to be able to access it after they download their extension, they will click on open assignment with Kami. Okay, so this is what this will look like. Once they open their assignment, it will take it to to Kami to where you're able to use all these tools. Okay, I show you some of these tools. You have um, the arrow, so you can select, kind of move around. Um, the text to speech is really awesome, especially if you are teaching foreign language. You can go here and change your voice, and default voice is in English. So let's say I want to click on that. So yeah, I can highlight it and it'll do a word by word. So it can read it for you clearly in English. That's really awesome for um, any modifications that you need to have for students. Um, so it's really cool. And also you can do it with different languages. So let's say so with the Texas speech in Spanish, um, I have Google Espanol. So it can have anything that I highlight, it will read it for me. So it has an accent, so of course, if you're learning a language, it kind of helps the kiddos with their listening skills. Um, so that's a great one that you can actually use. You can mark up so they can draw um, things, anything on there. Uh, they can kind of with the highlighter. The other really cool one that I like 
is that they can speak. So you can leave a comment as a text or as a voice comment. And what that looks like, it's pretty much what you have here. I already, I'm going to delete this. See, I went ahead and I already assigned it. So this is from a different student. And what they'll have to do is just pretty much whatever, like they did, they click on that. So I will click where I want the voice memo to go, or if I want them to pronounce, and it'll start recording. Now I'll click stop, as you can see. And then I'll click play. So I'll play. And that's that right there. This is a really cool tool as teachers, especially in a foreign language classroom, when you are wanting to have your students pronounce and also just the speaking skills and develop their speaking skills. So that's a great way that you can grade it and you can do it all in one. And then there's, of course, a text box, which is what they used here. Um, you know, you click on there and they can add their text. And there's a bunch of other gadgets. So that's really awesome. Okay, so let me go back. So let's say the kids have, you know, they open with Cami. This is where it took them. The next thing is they're going to click on Turn In. Um, so they'll click on Turn In. And let's see what this looks like because I already have it on here. And you'll click turn in. So at this point, it's like exporting the assignment and making that connection and sending it to Schoology. Okay, so after the student clicks turn in, let me go back. It will take them back to Schoology and because I'm in my teacher. Um, mode I won't be able to, to show you but what they can do after is they'll click on and submit the assignment so then they will submit it and then what you can do is once the kiddos start submitting you can see in your Schoology that hey they're all in here um, and you're able to see it so once I click on that you can actually see it within Schoology what they uh, submitted in their assignment and you can grade it that way so as you can see, they, the student added an audio, but you can't hear it. So in order for you to listen to it, you're going to need to log in in Kami and be able to hear it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the right, and it should be able to open it up for you. You can click on the link, and then at that point, it would open it up with Kami, and then you're able to listen to the audio. You can even add more comments. Um, if you want on there and edit some stuff and then turn it back in so then the student is able to see your feedback. And my, my internet's running a little slow, but I'm sure <laughs> we are used to that with uh, all this remote teaching, so just be patient. But yeah, so then here I can see the recordings and I can actually... I can actually hear it. Um, so I really, really, really love this extension. It has helped me so much in the classroom and specifically with when I want the students to respond to questions in the target language or draw. It's definitely more interactive. And it already shows you, especially with Schoology. I'm not sure about Google Classroom, but it shows you here. And it's an easy access for you as a teacher to click on it and then grade it that way. So I really hope that this video was helpful. I'm really a fan of Kami. I know that there is, a, you know, a trial that you can try but and use for, I believe it's 14 days. So you know, I encourage you to try to use it as best as you can right now, at least those 14 days. And then maybe you can, um, you know, there are plans, payment plans on there, and hopefully they are a number that you are able to access. And if you really enjoy this extension and this interactive activity with your students. So yeah, I hope that you are able to use this in your classroom and that it helps you and you love it as much as I have been enjoying it and my kiddos as well. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I am new to using Kami, but I will try to answer them as best as I can. All right, guys, have a great day.